Greetings. Peace be with you. So I've had a lot of you asking me what is my skincare routine? How did I get such a glowing face, right? I've had a lot of comments coming out. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the five things that I do every single day on how to get clear, glowing skin. Okay, I'm going to give you my skincare routine, if you might. Okay, now the first thing to understand is that glowing skin, clear skin is a result. What do I mean by this? I mean that it is not something that we put the cream like okay i'm speaking for personal experience i don't use any cosmetics okay let's just say that i don't put any creams to get clear skin i don't put any products any type of stuff on my skin to get clear skin it's a result of what i do rather than what i try to do if that makes sense right so it's very important to understand that and the first thing that we must understand is that when we get breakouts okay i used to get a lot of breakouts on my face a lot of pimples and stuff like that what's the cause of that because that's a result so the cause of that more often than not is the body which is unable to let go of the toxins through its natural processes which is defecation or peeing it out right and as a result of it tries to get it out through the skin okay so the first thing that i do every single day is make sure that my gut health is on point okay now of course everyone has a different gut there are so many different things to consider but really if you are experiencing skin that is getting flared up or getting breakouts it's important to ask yourself the question of what you are putting inside your body okay because the skin is a result of what is going on inside your body okay so if you are eating a lot of sugar if you are eating a lot of refined foods if you're eating a lot of foods that cause you to have inflammation then that is going to cause you to have skin that doesn't look like the way that it could. Okay, so the first point of awareness is not to go and get that cream or that potion or that pill to fix your skin. It is to get an awareness of what you are putting inside your body that might not be serving you. Okay, very important to make sure that your gut health is on point. Now, the second thing that I do every single day, which is perhaps very very crucial to getting that clear glowing skin is consuming bone broth okay now bone broth is packed full of collagen protein which is literally the stuff which creates your skin's elasticity okay now i'm not aware of any other products that have collagen protein but you can look that up online look for whatever foods are high in collagen protein and if you have that as part of your nutrition like I said, it's about what you put inside your body that will help you get that clear glowing skin as well. Okay, so I, I have that at least once a day and sometimes even twice a day, like opening my fast and then ending my day's eating I do with bone broth. Okay, now that can be chicken, that can be goat, that can be cow. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can just use the bones and uh, look up a tutorial online how to create bone broth. It's very easy. You just let it simmer in boiling water and it extracts that nutrition from the bones and gets the collagen protein, which you can then use to create that clear glowing skin. Okay. Now, the third thing that I try to do every single day. Okay. I'm going to be honest. I don't do this every single day, but it is my intention to do it every single day is cold showers. Okay. Now, this is something that has been a part of my life for, say, coming up like five, six years at this point. And I was very, very consistent with them. But the reason I'm not as consistent with them right now, because to be honest, the water is not as cold as I would want it to be. I know that's a strange excuse. But cold showers, right? When we expose our skin to cold water, it tightens up the blood flow, right? And that ends up creating that clear glowing skin as well. And like I said, I do not use any products. In fact, I remember I used to use like face wash and stuff like that. And though I did not notice any instantaneous benefits, I do not think that it was doing any benefit over the long term because the more I dove deep into the research about these cosmetics, like deodorant, like toothpaste, like face wash, all of these things are packed full of ingredients that are toxic to the human body. Okay, do your own research around this stuff, but a lot of these ingredients actually have xenoestrogens in them, which cause feminizing effects on the body as well, especially deodorant, okay? Toothpaste has fluoride in it, which is known to be a toxic to humans, and yet they put it in toothpaste. So we can dive deeper into the agenda behind this and all of the stuff going on at the backdrop, but 
in this video i just want to share with you that i do not use that stuff okay cold showers is really a key over there that allows you to get that clear glowing skin as well okay then the fourth thing which i do every single day you can probably guess is semen retention okay now i do not have an awareness on any research or any stuff that says that you know retaining your semen gives you glowing skin but that is something i can speak to from personal experience that's something i can speak to from the experience of so many other men that you can find online a lot of anecdotal evidence about this as well but my theory is that because semen is such an in such a resource that's full of packed full of ingredients that when our body deprives is deprived of that semen then we end up making up for that by sucking out the vitality of other organs and the skin is the biggest organ so perhaps when we are releasing more often than we should then that is what causes the skin to end up getting all crumply and losing its nutrition okay that is a theory and that is something that i've experienced yes that's something that i've heard about from so many other men that you can look up as well but a practice which i suspect has contributed to that clear glowing skin okay now the fifth thing that i do every single day which i'm doing right here right now as well is spending time out in the sun okay now there is a common narrative saying that if you spend too much time in the sun you get skin cancer and all of that again do your own research around this stuff because people then use sunblock and that sunblock is also packed full of xenoestrogen and that ends up getting binded to the skin and that can end up doing more damage than good as well according to my research do your own research as always use your own discernment okay but this is something i can speak to from personal experience because i have a skin condition known as vitiligo okay it's an autoimmune condition whereby the skin's pigments get messed up i ended up having a lot of white spots i don't know if you can see them but it's pretty much cleared up and and a large part of that is because i spend a lot of time in the sun okay and the reason that i know this skin is contributing to the clear skin is because in all the body parts where i have exposed the most amount of skin is where i have the least amount of vitiligo okay excuse this guy sweeping the streets behind me so i know this objectively because look if you look at my leg which is not i try to expose it too much i don't know if you can see it but i have these white spots on my leg and the parts of my body which are not exposed to the sun as regularly end up having the skin condition end up causing skin that is not exactly clear and all the parts of my body where i do get exposure to the sun i have clear skin okay so just a quick overview on the things i do every single day a lot of you guys have been asking me this like i do not use any products okay i use zero products on my face on my skin other than coconut oil sometimes on my head because i do have some dandruff stuff going on and on my beard as well seems like it's uh, working to get that glow on the beard as well but those are the five things that i do every single day okay implement them see what works for you implement one of them at least the one that you think would have the most positive impact on you and again i want to emphasize that glowing skin is the result right it's not something that we're going to do through trying to make it happen through putting the cosmetics and the beauty care products or the face wash or all of that stuff because based on my research and experience that can end up doing more harm than good okay so if you implement these five things i can guarantee that you will have better stronger more firm more clear more glowing skin by the end of a couple of weeks even okay so with that i'll conclude this video and i want to let you know that the monk mode challenge is open for enrollment for october session so i can leave a link out to that below if you are ready to create true transformation in your life and come together with a community that's going to hold you to a higher standard to complete daily missions every single day so that you can conquer information overload get rid of procrastination and finally begin creating progress towards a life that you love then click the link below get started of that i would love to see you over there okay so with that i'll conclude today's video and i will leave you in the peace and power of the one infinite creator leave a comment below letting me know how many of these things you are practicing right now how many of them you are going to implement in your life i love interacting with you i love hearing from you and i love this, to see the progress that you are making in your life okay much love to you take care and i will catch you in the next one